First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Paleo Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahach Kudash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace. Blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, it says North Korea claims about 800,000 have signed up to fight against the U.S. You know, a lot of these countries smell blood in the water, okay, because America is fallen spiritually and morally, okay. And it says in the scriptures, let the weak say I'm strong, and that's happening right now. Okay, also, uh, North Korea simulates tactical nuclear strike. Also, I wanted to talk about uh, China, Russia, Iran, wrap up joint military drills. Also, Military recruitment flatlines as American propensity to serve fates. You know, this is scriptural, man. Okay. They have foreborn to fight. This is all coming to pass right in front of our faces, man. So uh, let's start. It says North Korea claims that about 800,000 of its citizens volunteered to join or re-enlist in the nation's military to fight against the United States. North Korea state newspaper reported on Saturday. And like I said, a lot of these countries smell blood in the water, man. Okay, Russia smells blood in the water. Iran smells blood in the water. You know what I'm saying? All of America's enemies smell blood in the water over here. Because what are the people doing? They don't want to uh, fund Ukraine. Men are turning into women. Women are turning into men. Okay, they're distracting the people with all these derailments, all these balloon attacks. And this place is going to fall just like Rome did, man. But the only difference is this place is going to fall by nuclear destruction. Okay. It says, about 800,000 students and workers on Friday alone across the country expressed a desire to enlist or re-enlist in the military to counter the United States, the Redong Simon newspaper reported. So going, moving on, North Korea said it has conducted a simulation of a nuclear um, strike against a major enemy target. This is the latest missile launch and was overseen by Kim Jong-un. The simulation was a practice counterattack with a missile tipped with a test Warhead simulating nuclear payload as part of a two-day drill over the weekend, demonstrating the country's firepower and readiness to respond to any reckless moves. This comes amid joint military exercises on the peninsula by South Korean and United States forces. You know, North Korea is a small country, but like it says in the scriptures, let the weak say I'm strong. Okay, and this is what's happening. A lot of people is not scared of America anymore. They, they're watching everything that's happening over here. America is basically a satanic country, man. It's do as thou wilt. Okay, men turning into women, women turning into men. This place is divided, okay, and a house divided cannot stand. A lot of people see that, okay? And a lot of people is catching up to the technology that America has. They're like, they got missiles, we got missiles, so we're not really scared of them. Now, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. It says, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, so World War Three is going to be with burning the fuel of fire, man. This is Joel chapter 3. You know, and if you read 1 through uh, 8, it's talking about, you know, the Africans selling the children of Israel to the so-called white man. And then it gives the judgment of what's going to happen to them. You know what I'm saying? You know, it says Tyre and Zidane. This, these are the Africans. And then it says, um, have you sold unto the Grecians? So the Africans sold unto the so-called white man. And then it talks about World War Three. Okay, so it jumps to there, all the way to there. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay, so this is talking about World War Three, man. In Joel chapter 3. Now before I read the rest of this, let's read a little bit of this. It says, The Biden administration and National Security Council say they are closely monitoring Multiple days of rare joint Navy drills between China, Russia, and Iran held in the Gulf of Oman. And Russia and Iran have big parts to play in prophecy, especially in World War III. It says the security bond 2023 exercises took place from Wednesday through Saturday and were focused on deepening practical cooperation between the participating countries' natives and inject positive energy into regional peace and stability, according to China's defense military, the Allies confirmed the exercises concluded Saturday and held their successes. Iranian State 
as well as Russian media published circulated footage of the drills which involved joint warship maneuvers deployed of aircraft and a day and night all artillery firing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so you can look this stuff up, man. Russia and Iran got a big part to play in World War Three, man. Let's go to Ezekiel 38. Okay, Ezekiel 38 is talking about World War Three, Basically talking about Gog and Magog and who Gog and Magog is going to protect. Okay, he says, In the word of Yahweh, Bashar ben came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And say, Thus say Yahweh, Bashar ben Behold, I am against thee. O oh God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So Yehabash and Meshach is against Russia, but he's going to use them. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth in all thy army. So Russia can't escape this because Yehabash and Meshach is pulling him into doing this. It says, All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them were handling swords. Okay? And then it names Persia. Okay? Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. All of them with shield and helmet. Gomar and all of his bands. The house of Togomar of the north quarters. And all of his bands. And many people with thee. Be thou prepared. And prepare for thyself. Thou and all that company that are assembled unto thee. And be thou a guard unto them. So Gog and Magog is going to be a guard. Unto Persia. Okay. We go to Persia. We look it up. You know. It's Iran. You know. I'll just spoil it for you. You know. You can look it up yourself. You know. Persia. Iran. 1935. Why was Persia renamed to Iran in 1935? You can look that up. Look up the history. So a lot of this stuff is going on right now. Now China, Russia, Iran, North Korea. They used to be weak. Now they're saying I'm strong, right? Going back to Joel. Proclaim this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let, the, let them come up. Beat your plowshares and the swords and your pruner hooks and the spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. This is what's happening all around the world, man. Assemble yourselves and come up, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither, because thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. So this is the end of the world, man. Okay? For there will I sit and judge all the heathen round about. Put you in a sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow. For their wickedness is great. So this is why how Bashar Mishael is going to do this, man. For the wickedness of this of, the, uh, of all these people, man. Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of Yahweh Bashar Mishael draw near in the valley of decision. Okay. So World War Three was prophesied about, you know, going to go down there to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Okay. Yahweh Shapat. God's judgment. Okay. It's, it's scary, man. Now, also, I wanted to talk about this. Military recruitment flatlines as American prosperity to serve phase. You know, nobody wants to fight <laughs> for America, man, even as people. Nobody wants to fight for children turning in, uh, children changing their genders. Okay, nobody wants to fight for this weird-ass place that's fallen morally and spiritually. Nobody wants to fight for the satanic army, for their satanic bankers' uh, agendas. Because we all know that's why... 
you know, uh, NATO and the EU, America's their army, man. Nobody wants to fight for this shit, okay? Because everything's being uh, brought to the forefront. Only wickedness, okay? Uh, the United States military is facing recruitment shortfalls with only the Marine Corps and a newly created Space Force meeting 2022 enlistment quotas as an issue that could undermine the Pentagon's readiness to address the pace and challenges posted by the People's Republic of China and Russia. Okay, so you can go and read all this. I'm not going to read it. I just want to pull one scripture. Jeremiah 51 and 30, it says, The mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight. We all know that America is Babylon the Great. And Jeremiah 41, 50 and 51 is talking about the last days. Okay, let's get this word for foreborn. Strong's H2308. Chadel. Chadel. And the form just below that, Chadel, Chadel. To stop, cease, desist, cease to be, leave undone, forbear, come to an end. Okay? So the p people of America don't want to defend the ideology that America's pushing, man. Okay? All this weirdo shit. And they treat their military like shit. Okay, you see all these homeless military personnel. Nobody wants to fight for a country that does that to its uh to its warriors. Okay, and Yahweh Bashemashai even hates that. Okay, he hates that with a passion. Now, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 26 and 28. There are two things that grieve my heart, and the third maketh me angry: a man of war that suffereth poverty. Okay, you see. How America treats its uh, warriors, its soldiers, like shit, okay? Like shit. Okay, they come back over here. They got PTSD. Nobody wants to help them. They kill themselves. Or they just, okay, they're just living miserably. And a men of understanding that are not set by, and one that returned from righteousness to sin, the Lord prepare of such one and one for the sword. So, yeah, how about some shots going to destroy, you know, America for the, America got a whole list, but this is one of them, man. OK, they make their warriors suffer poverty, man. OK, going back to uh, Jeremiah 51. It says uh, the the mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight. They don't want to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might have faded, failed. They become as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. This is talking about Babylon the Great right here, man. And uh, just reading this, just it, you can just visualize America, man. Like, they become as women. Woo! So, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Basically, these other nations, okay, like it says right here. Let the weak say I'm strong. These countries smell blood in the water, okay? 800,000. I'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of Chinese, Russians, and Amer Iranian people are, are wanting to join the military to defeat America, man. And in World War III, you know, it's going to be a hell of a war. But Babylon the Great is going to lose. America is going to lose in World War III, man. Okay? Because there's prophetic... Okay, it was prophesied to lose. Read Revelations 18. Read that whole thing. It's talking about the day that America falls. Okay, by nuclear destruction in one day. 60 minutes through. So, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS and taught me the truth. And call Halal Yahweh Shem and Shabbat Shem Rakakadash.